Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, new playlist, my build status for Xbox. So basically a lot of you have been asking a question, how do I get to progress in the season 2 so quickly? So at the moment I'm ranked 62. Uh, the thing is I decided to change my build from uh, focusing on to carry weight build on to the XP build. So in this video I'll show you all of my gear, mutations and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna make a separate, uh, basically this is gonna be a new playlist on whenever I decide to make a few changes because this build isn't finished yet quite. So I'm still working on it and every time I'll be doing some si significant uh, updates to my build I'll make sure to uh, make a new video uh, uh, to correct my build. So you guys if you want to copy it definitely feel free to do so. I would definitely recommend to have your main character uh, for those who are working or going to school or you just don't have a lot of time to uh, play the game. This build will definitely help you out in order to progress in the season, uh, essentially level up because that's the most important thing. Uh, by, le by leveling up you also get to level your legendary perks and so on. So I highly recommend to have this build in case if you have a very limited amount of time to play the game. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so before I begin, I'd like to point out two things. Uh, the first thing is I'll have a, a few links down in the video description where you can take a look at the mutations, my gear, so it's going to contain screenshots. And also I'm going to uh, link my entire build, so uh, using the Nuka Dragons. I believe that's what it's called, the website's called. But anyway, uh, over there you'll see all of my current legendary perks and all the perks that I use, so if you want you can copy it. Uh, or do some uh, additional edits. Uh, and the other thing is, I'd like to point out that there might be a new f feature, <laughs> a bug. <laughs> so, uh, luckily f on this server, I think the it's not uh, the case. But let me check. When uh, what I recommend you to do is every time you log in uh, to a new server, make sure to check your status and check that your uh, negative mutations are down. In case if you're using class rate, because I believe that card is broken. So I was running around and I noticed I have my intelligence minus four. At the moment, it's minus one because it's correctly showing. Uh, but all this time I was playing with minus four, so I was getting all the negative effects from my uh, mutations. So essentially, if you have this bug, what you got to do is you need to navigate to your uh, basically perks, uh, go to your luck, and unequip and equip the class freak again in order for it to f solve the problem. And in that case, you'll have everything running. I noticed that just today when I was working on this video. So, let's begin. By the way, I'll have a 10 minute clip uh, me running around f through a few locations so you can see how effective this build is and how uh, it triggers the uh, level up and how it triggers the uh, uh, the score, the season score. <laughs> also, you'll see a quite big difference in terms of levels because I did that this morning and I played for about uh, two hours today. So my level has changed. So you see my level is 559. What up? So essentially within the week I managed to grind myself 100 levels. How you like that? <laughs> Alright, so let's go. Uh, basically we start off with the specials. So my main focus now is intelligence. Intelligence gives additional XP. The highest uh, intelligent point I managed to get this guy to is 69, but I think because of that uh, class freak bug, it should be 71. But I played with 69, that's the maximum that I got. So, the mutations. Let's go with the mutation. Aren't, isn't a big deal. So, the adrenal reaction for a little bit more damage, uh, the lower my HP, bird bones, uh, agility, reduced full speed, minus one strength, eagle eyes, perception, plus four perception, minus strength, and crit damage, which is perfecto. Uh, Egghead is a must have, uh, six intelligence, strength, ed, and so on. Uh, healing factor, uh, healing factor, herbal war is a must have, I'll get into it, uh, actually let's do it right now, before we lose the topic. So, the thing is, you eat veggies, right? But you do not benefit from meat. But it doubles the benefits of the veggies. That means if you're uh, eating, for example, cranberry relish, right? Cranberry relish uh, on its own gives 10% XP uh, boost for one hour, right? Uh, but if you have the mutation, right? Uh, the herbivore. 
it will be 20%. But, again, if you have the uh, stranger numbers uh, that makes it 25% stronger, that will be 25%. So, having that is a must for this build. So, you get 25% just from Cranberry Relish. It's crazy. So, uh, have that in mind. So, I wanted to show you this. So, you see, Cranberry Relish, 20%. Uh, 20%. If I were to be, if someone would join my team right now, I would have a 25. That also applies for the uh, for the brain fungus soup. This is the one that I uh, I believe on its own it gives two intelligence with the herbivore four, and I believe if I'm in the team it's uh, five or something maybe. I'm not sure. I have I didn't pay attention <laughs> to be honest. Uh, now in order to fully fully maximize to get like when I got to my 69 intelligence you need brain bombs now brain bombs are essentially really hard to uh, do because the sugar bombs are pretty tough to come by I'm uh, working on a video on how to on possible locations where you can find them uh, but you need like three uh, where's that brain bombs there you go so brain bombs for me gives six in reality gives three but with the uh, s strange in numbers it gives 7.5 my brains just exploded. But the problematic is the sugar bombs, man. It's coconut sugar bombs. I already found a few locations where I definitely find those things, but I'm still working on to find more locations and I'll provide a guy video on how you can farm those. Now, let's uh, continue. So, boom. Uh, herd mentality minus two special uh, if solo so right now I should I have a minus two by the way so those stats that you've seen right now it's it's a minus I should have 54 uh, and plus two in case if I'm in a group but since I'm always mainly playing in a group and now with these public team events that I can just join a public server just join someone's team I get the benefit right uh, once again, Star's genes increase that by 25%. Uh, I saw, I think, it was from plus 2 it goes to plus 3. Means you got plus 3 to all stats. Epic. Uh, marsupial, carry weight, minus intelligence. That's man. <laughs> when I saw it minus 4 and I didn't know it was a bug, man, I want to get rid of that marsupial. But minus 1, okay, I can live with that. <laughs> uh, scaling. By the way, I was like, fun I was like, what? Minus four, man. Something definitely wrong. I googled it and like minus four is the actual thing without class freak. I'm like, unequip, equip, minus one. Yeah, like, you cockroach game. Anyway, uh, then we got scaly skin for damage resist, energy resist. My build is not sneaky. I don't sneak. I go storm, storm the front and shoot everything. With the new uh, shotgun that I got uh, from my buddy Jared. Thank you. He gave it to me yesterday. Life became much easier because uh, previously I used to use Born Survivor uh, one star that would trigger a stint pack every 20 seconds. <laughs> so yeah, I had to have a lot of stint packs on me, but I usually have a, about 1,000 diluted stint packs, so I'm good. But with the shotgun, things just became way much easier. Uh, speed demon, uh, 20 move speed. Well, speed demon is speed demon. Everybody knows that. Okay. So these are the mutations. Once again, the screenshot of all the mutations I'm going to have down in the video description with the weapons and armor that I'm using. So uh, that is done. Let's continue. All right. So now let's take a look at my weapons. This is my main weapon now from now on from since yesterday. <laughs> at the end of the stream, this is baby. I tested it and it's just heaven. You will see it in action for those 10 minutes and you will see my health just I don't die even though my health is, is under 20%. <laughs> so, uh... It's a vampire, 50% uh, limb damage, and 250 damage resistance while reloading. It's, it's just, thank you. It, it really saves me a lot. So this is now my main gun for everything. It's crazy. Uh, then if we go queen fight, so I uh, kind of like um, freeze her. I'm the, the freezing tap, the support tap. So I freeze the, uh, the queen with this gun right here. Uh, then... This is the wifey I was using previously. It was just vanishing everything. But, you know, come to think of it, I didn't feel a big difference. Although, the damage between these two weapons is like 300, uh, uh, 106 damage difference. But I didn't really feel it, to be honest. And it's just crazy. I was like, 106, I was picturing, man, now I gotta like, two shot things. No, I still one shot things. It's crazy. Uh, well, most of them. Not all of them. 
Like the behemoth goes down in three, four shots uh, to the hit. <laughs> and rad wifey, when uh, I get my uh, rad over 20%, I use her to uh, kind of get myself my radiation. As you can see, 50 rads all per shot, so it's beautiful. Uh, don't really have to wait uh, on toxic goo, but I also have that one as well, just in case uh, if I like basically you need more rats but I'm pr planning to get rid of toxic good to be honest and just get myself a, a whole bunch of uh, gamma rounds so I just like if I have a lot of uh, rats I need to get rid I'll just spam the floor bam, 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 bam. <laughs> so these are my guts and uh, the main ones is vampire queen anti queen god wifey and rat wifey Kilaredo's wifey is gonna go on display show or am I gonna give it to some Z clan who might gonna need it? All right, let's take a look at the armor now. All right, so my armor is currently not complete. <laughs> at the moment, I have uh, armor with unyielding intelligence only three pieces out of five. So I'm, I'm missing on plus plus two more intelligence, which should boost my uh, gain of XP. So uh, there's nothing really big special things about them. So this one with deep pocket. Uh, this one intelligence I, I don't care about the third to be honest I just really wanted that intelligence because this is my uh, I put the zero set that's my XP farm set when I triggered lunch boxes right and I get all the buffs I don't care about looting I just jump shoot and move on I don't pick up anything pretty much I just go 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 so I'm missing out on a lot of loot but it's a time saver you jump real fast locations that's why I managed to uh, during the live stream yesterday, for instance, it was a three hour live stream. I leveled up like 12 times and ranked up like four or five ranks. So it's crazy. <laughs> so uh, I have only three pieces with intelligence so far. I'm looking to get two more. That's the chest piece and right leg. And then things should be, should get better. In case if I'm going to do, uh, for example, uh, like the daily ops, then I'll trigger and use this one. And you also I use this specific set, the number ones, is weapon weight reduction. I use that in case if I'm not under the effect of a lum uh, of a lunch box. If I'm not under the effect of a lunch box, then in this case I pick up all the guns, pretty much everything, so I can scrap it. So with all these weapon weight reduction perk cards, I can carry a whole bunch of guns and just uh, like be free. Apart from this one, uh, this is a lifesaver. Thank you, just Justin Belfa. Uh, really helps me to absorb more damage, and now it's even better. So, uh, if you saw that clip that I've uploaded up in regards to the daily ops, when we did the team uh, match and we got the elder, and then I soloed it and I got the elder, and I received a couple of comments, bro, how can you be so tanky under 20% health? Why are you not dying? Uh, this is one of them. Plus, I have perk cards that gives me a lot more uh, defense. It adds up. In real world of uh, pleasure or completion of my build, what I'm looking at is uh, an XP farming set. Uh, uh, plus, you can say PvP. It would be uh, a yielding intelligence and uh, sentinel. So this piece right here, but instead of charisma, in intelligence. And I need five pieces of that. If I'm gonna have that. Perfecto. So I have a lot of grinding, man. I feel like this is never gonna end. And for like my PVE, well, I am PVE build essentially. I'm not a PVP build. Uh, this you gotta all admit that PVP is broken. Uh, needs a little bit more balancing, but we'll get there. I'm pretty sure. Now that Microsoft bought Bethesda for 7.5 billion, <laughs> well, they didn't buy actually Bethesda. They bought the Zenimax. I'm pretty sure everybody already knows about it. Uh, and Bethesda win like a bonus. <laughs> so, Microsoft, please fix this game. Get your get your uh, developers on board. Change the engine. Come on, you can do it. Okay, <laughs> uh, but let's see how that all goes. I have high hopes. Good hopes. So, uh, let me quickly show you my armor. That's another one. This is a really good one. Action points refresh as well. Perfecto. Love it. There we go. And by the way, come to think of it, my PvE I ideal set would be unyielding plus one intelligence and weapon weight reduction. And with Sentiel, it's more like PvP and stay alive build. 
I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to think about it. As I said, I still can't can't make my perfect perfect build now with these legendary perks as well that are here. It's just crazy. So uh, these are my armor and most important as well is shielded fennel t-shirt and jeans which gives a uh, plus three more intelligence it's shielded uh, personally myself I don't have a plan for this enigma thank you very much for making these and uh, if you want to get one of these just reach out on discord I'm pretty sure that anyone from Z clan who has the ability to make these will definitely hook you up alright so this is it pretty much for my apparel now the aid that I use at all pretty much all the time is basically brain fungus soup uh, if I don't have the uh, uh, brain bombs sugar bombs sugar bomb whatever sugar bomb sugar bomb if I and cranberry relish oh man that is about a spoil I need to get myself a refill uh, then the most important uh, drug Psst, you got some <laughs> Uh, that would be Berry Mente. It's plus fire intelligence and highlights living targets for five minutes uh, increases thirst. I love it. I absolutely adore it. It's the best and I see it gives me only four and I believe the reason for that is because of the healing factor. I'm not gonna get rid of healing factor because I really don't need that health regen no more with the vampire shotgun. Go go the game, man. Oh wait, if I remove Masupi as well, that's gonna be plus two my intelligence in my book. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm gonna have to like, oh man, pain. But it took me four days to gather 400 berry mantats. I was farming them like crazy four days before season two started. Uh, the most problematic with them is the. Um, they're star berries and there's a I'm gonna make separate videos on that as soon as I'm done on uh, detailed guide you know so I can show you hey man you don't just go into this region go look right I don't want to do that I want to actually go into the region show you each and every path where you can find those but it's really hard because they're like small little cockroaches that are just so hard to spot I wish there was a perk card that would gl make them glow you know so you see ah that's a berry right there I can go pick it up so uh, Bethesda, here's an idea for one more legendary perk. Glowing plants. <laughs> Berries. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this one's pretty hard to come by, but uh, with all the needed perks, uh, it's very easy to make. I'm going to go into more details on uh, a guide video for that. Where to farm them, how to make them, what perk cards to use, etc. Uh, so these are pretty much the only things that I use. And uh, just corn soup, uh, because it's very easy to come by with corn and I just spam it and uh, refill my food and thirst at the same time by the way so also really handy and of course of course lunch boxes lunch boxes you can buy for gold bullion from uh, settlers and raiders uh, the, the bullion guys and uh, what we did is with Z clan we set up teams for a, a lunch box opening so basically each and every one just open once uh, one lunch box and we spread it out and we do our different things so you know so we don't waste time but we make sure to be uh, repaired ammo have and all that stuff before we actually split up I don't use the lunchbox like four or whatever two lunchbox by myself because there's no point in it uh, better save them and if you have a team I even created a in discord lunchbox uh, teaming team up so over there if you're looking for three more people to join you so you guys can just open lunch boxes I believe that chat should uh, become more active now it's already started activities over there and man this is a must-have this is they stack so you can get up to a hundred percent extra XP D uh, during double XP that's you're playing triple XP as crazy you gotta love it <laughs> uh, man all right, and now let's go to the perks. Uh, perks, perks, perks. Here we go. I'm gonna start off with the legendary ones, though. Uh, they're not all fully maxed out, but this is what I have. I decided to go all uh, perks, so I need 300 more, and I'm gonna max out all of my needed specials. But I changed these around. I used to have instead of uh, charisma perception, uh, but I changed my mind. Yes, indeed. 
<laughs> I maxed it out and there's a reason why so by the way if you did not know how these ones work so you can if you read uh, plus five strength and uh, and five strength per points but the cap is 15 meaning that you can if if you're like for example uh, you need all slots but you don't really need to go over uh, that strength you can drop your strength to 10 give it to some other uh, ability use the legendary perk card and you'll have 15 strength that's exactly what I did so for example if I am to remove my strength perk card uh, remove yeah I know there you go see what happens two cards got removed and my strength is down to 10 so definitely this is a good card to have for me because I found better use for those perks and once again I will have a link where you can see all my perk cards on that uh, website where you can make loadouts so for strength I am using the expert shotgunner all of them uh, scatter shot uh, meaning shotguns weigh less and your reload speed increased by 30% but I'm thinking of uh, changing that to something else I'm, I'm not quite sure yet uh, s ever since I got that shotgun that gives me 250% defense so it doesn't matter how fast I reload I can reload slowly and still take no damage <laughs> so well I'll take but just a little bit but when I shoot someone I start rehealing again I start reloading again <laughs> this is good so I'm not gonna switch that one over there uh, perception night person it gives plus three intelligence and uh, perception between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. I love this vampire card just love it I don't even replace it with anything else because I don't care I always have it on just so I don't forget to uh, start getting my so I start getting my, my XP my XP at exactly 6 p.m. and I stop getting at 6 a.m. exactly and uh, concentrated fire is a must-have for me uh, to aim in the head so I take out the enemy in one shot uh, pretty much all creatures go down one shot only the uh, behemoth is going down under three or four shots for endurance I got ironclad camp friend and radical I was uh, planning to get it fireproof but uh, turns out with the uh, oh yeah by the way which makes me a bad man chest Abestos Lightning, that's what I have there. It already saves me from fire, but I'm still thinking on uh, getting this Edrance to uh, get those two plus stars and get fireproof as well. I have my camp friend, so my uh, Berry Mentads work longer, and Radical obviously to get more strength. So under the effect of uh, under being under rats right and I have it under 20% so I'm definitely getting plus 5 of strength from here as well it's just oof. I mean once again this is not a PvP build this is a PvE uh, level up is crazy build <laughs> alright so we got that charisma charisma is actually pretty funny I gotta tell you my original charisma is 4 so I thought and I thought it was gonna be like normal plus five meaning I got nine meaning I am supposedly supposed to be able to share the stupid perk card but I can't so neither of this is a feature and if it is a feature Bethesda please fix because as a support class of some lower player joining my group I would be able to share uh, the inspirational and he would be able to get more XP that's was my intention so I'm thinking maybe if I should drop and put something more into Charisma because Charisma also increases the chances of getting some good rewards while doing completing events but I'm pretty I'm currently not sure what I can get rid of and should I get rid of anything because at the moment I like it the way things are so uh, over here I have the inspirational at all times uh, plus 15 percent experience uh, field surgeon Stimpex and right away will work now much more quicker uh, that's when I was using the the perk uh, over here, Born Survivor, it was it was crazy. There's a boom stim pack, and I just like s healing out until the next 20 seconds like run out. He stops healing, I get a shot, and he stim packs himself again. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna switch that around. Uh, also, magnetic personality. I decided to go with this one, so it gives me plus two more charisma per each teammate, uh, but not me. So that's plus six charisma, increases my chances of getting some good rewards from the events. Uh, but if we're gonna go like for some queen or something like that and if somebody doesn't have team medic I'm gonna equip the three-star team medic perk card 
uh, over there. Uh, basically, Team Medic is uh, allowing, well, basically, you heal your uh, teammates as well. Uh, Stranger Numbers, always on, definitely to increase the uh, power of my mutations, as long as I have some mutated friends with me to hop out. Mutant. Anyway, uh, that is that. Uh, these cards are always on. Then, in, in the intelligence, 15 intelligence is my personal 15 plus 5 of intelligence here. I'm, I know I'm missing out on plus 5 in, in perk points, and I'm pretty much missing out. Like, f f as an example, I could get rid of 5 intelligence here, put in charisma, problem solved, I can share an inspirational, but I'm gonna have a minus 5 in intelligence. I really love my intelligence. So, I decided, you know what, I don't care. According to what I know, like one intelligence is equal to two percent of XP, so that's ten percent XP. Ten percent XP. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah. I read out and some Reddit posts. I think also Turtle mentioned it on the video a long time ago. I think it's around two percent uh, per intelligence point that you get XP. So five percent. It's. Well, I mean five intelligence. That's. Uh, 10% XP. Okay, so over here I have first aid, so my stim packs regenerate much more health since I use diluted. Uh, that adds up and really r makes them last longer. Uh, Nerd rage obviously increases my uh, damage resist and uh, weapon damage plus AP regen. Uh, battery is included. Energy weapons weight a, little, a lot less. Uh, that's because I usually have around, but I might gonna actually replace this car with something else. Not sure yet, but I have those energy stuff with me all the time, and those things weigh a lot, man. And I don't know, but I might even gonna replace that with something else. Scrapper, I always have on, so I don't forget, because when I'm running my uh, PVE build with weapon wave reduction, and I pick up a lot of weapons, when I forget to put this on and I scrap them all, I'm like, nah, that's a lot of steel and other stuff, man. Especially the laser rifles that give you also plastic, and plastic is must have for me because I'm shotgun build, and plastic is needed to make shotgun shells. So I always have this thing on, and uh, sometimes I even share it if I notice that a lot of people are sharing stranger numbers, so other guys also take advantage of it. And gunsmith, obviously, uh, so my gun doesn't break fast because I just love using just one gun, and that's it. I don't like like you know scrolling the wheel like oh I got this gun I got this gun I got this gun just one gun bam 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 all good <laughs> agility through hiker is a must-have for me um, oh, which reminds me by the way my backpack is modded with the uh, cam weight reduction I'll show you just in a bit I totally forgot so this reduces uh, food and drinks by 90% Enforcer, your shotgun gain 15% stagger chance and 30% cripple uh, limb chance. Plus my shotgun 50%. Poof. Uh, evasive, <clears throat> more uh, damage and energy resistance, max 45, the higher my agility is. <clears throat> Gun fool, I'm using VAT, so I just give a headshot, it automatically switches to the next target, give a headshot, automatically switches to the next target, give a headshot, and so on. Uh, White Knight, uh, your armor breaks 60% slowly and <clears throat> the repair is che cheaper, is always on, because when I didn't have this perk card, <clears throat> I was gonna, I had to repair my stupid armor like every five minutes, because I'm no sneak build no more. And the more shots I'm taking, the the, the more my my uh, armor is breaking. This White Knight is a lifesaver for me now. Green uh, Reaper Sprint is a must have as well, because it gives a 30% 35% chance to restore all action points uh, on a kill, on any kill, right? With Gunfu, uh, work, work perfecto and concentrated fire for the headshot, right? So bam, 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 I see, like, I pretty much never go away from VATS. I'm always in VATS. Like, 99% chance to see me in VATS. So, thank you. I love that card. Serendipity, uh, obviously, a chance to avoid damage, all damage. Uh, while below 30% health, I'm under 20, so that thing also, also works, saves me. Starch jeans, I never take it off because I don't want to lose my mutations. <clears throat> so if you are using mutations, star jeans, two stars, must have. Uh, good with salt, uh, so the food doesn't spoil uh, while I'm carrying it because I always have a lot of food. I, I can't be bothered, like put them in the fridge, which has 50% by the way. 
uh, come back to the camp, pick it up, like blah blah. And like, better have it, everything on me. Like, I just use it real fast and I just get onto my business, and just enjoy the game, have fun. And then when I ran out of all the components, I just spent a couple, <laughs> a couple of days farming a whole bunch of resources to get all that back. And then I'm like, a couple of weeks good for gameplay, and I just don't bother like crafting or doing whatever. I mean, I have over 1,000 rataways <laughs> in my backpack. I started selling them to the vendor. <laughs> For some caps so and super duper obviously well these are the cards that i always have on me and they are always turned on i don't change those so yep that's pretty much it can't wait to rank these up boom yeah did i cover everything i think i did so yeah, uh, reduces all chems weight by 90% and does not stack with perks, unfortunately. <laughs> I would love if that would stack, man. That would be 180%. Ooh, <laughs> just carry all the uh, all you want. <laughs> uh, this, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you get from the Raiders. I don't remember uh, which ally fra oh reputation fraction you need, but this one is I'm pretty sure you get from the Raiders for gold bullion uh, at the gold bullion vendor. If if I'm wrong, then it's the settlers. So yeah, and uh, quickly also share with you the armor, the pocket, the pocket, abestos, muffled, which by the way I need to change, and the pocket. I'm gonna put that the pocket too. All right, so now let's take a look at that. The, well, it's 10 minutes of recording time. I just really wanted to show you the amount of experience and the amount of uh, score I get. So that is optional. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, don't watch it. And once again, thanks all for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. Now let's get on to that clip. Bye. Oh, well, this is where I'm going to say goodbye. Alright, now that I've shared with you uh, all the information I had, let's do a quick run and uh, see what are going to be the results. I'm going to stop by like four or five locations and take a look at the progression part. So right now I'm taking the pills and I'm taking the brain bomb, that which I have left on the one. Boom. And you should see my intelligence boosting to 69. And watch my level fly. <laughs> oh, oops, oh my god. I was just making a review for this one as well. Uh, the Vampire Queen. And this thing, just in case if I die, but I don't think I will die. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to sleep. So that's minus 5% of uh, XP that I can get. But as you can see, I'm already flying like a beast. Look at that. 1,000. 1,300 1,000 Especially if the radiation rumble if I see that event popping I'm just jumping straight off the bat because I can easily like level up there like Two levels if not more Just by shooting ghouls and by the way the ghouls they give me a uh, a thousand plus XP 1,700 There we go. Bam 75. I think the uh, 100 level 100 mutants. They give me 1,700 per uh level 100 mutant. Oh, look there. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, now I'm gonna speed up even more. Here we go, beast mode. <laughs> And these loading screens, you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you don't want to watch this, you don't have to. This is pretty much going to be the end for this video. I'm just uh, recording this last part section uh, to show you how it actually is and how fast I level up. So this is pretty much, you can call the end for this video. Or you can follow my loop on how I uh, run around and you'll see my top. Uh, locations that I stopped by in order to get some XP. Although the routes 
that I'm y using right now aren't um, like 100% ready. So I'm still working those routes. Uh, what I would definitely 100% recommend those is once again workshops. Workshops has always been my favorite way of getting that XP, especially now after patch 22, that um, they now spawn in like higher level enemies, so you can pretty much uh, capture whatever workshops, like even in low level area. Because in low, like the forest area, for instance, they will still spawn in level 50. Uh, units at you and that is just freaking beautiful in my opinion you still get a lot of xp especially if they're so if they're mutants if they're mutants you still get a whole bunch of xp it's just with this i'm just loving this patch now so much and i got into the uh, <clears throat> xp fever man uh i wanted to focus mainly on my uh weapon weight reduction build but Ever since this patch, I'm like, hey, oh man, intelligence, XP is now my top priority. Everything else is going back. So, right now, like like I said before, I'm aiming to get two different uh, sets of unyielding. So, the first set, well, with, of course, uh, basically the two sets I want to get is one <clears throat> for the adventure purposes, uh, such as XP farming and uh, looting that would be unyielding intelligence and weapon weight reduction right all five pieces and hey look at that i just ranked up <laughs> rank 60 hello hello and today we're also gonna get some new challenges and weekly challenges because it's tuesday man i think i'm gonna finish this season <laughs> before the end of this month <laughs> which is cool because i'm going to my friend's wedding and i'll be gone for like four days four or five days we're living, living the city. So yeah, as you can see, that score pretty much triggers like every like what, five, not even five minutes. I'm recording for five minutes, so I triggered the like uh, every like two minutes, I guess. It's crazy. And as like I said, when I was streaming, man, uh, it's like within like um. Three hour live stream, I get 10 plus levels and like also like three plus ranks, if not more. And if I get the uh, challenges as well, it's just crazy. So this thing is just like if you like if you don't have a lot of time to play and you know work, school, whatever, right? This build is the perfect build for you, like as your main and. Uh, Number one, why is like, first of all, you'll get to grind seasons quicker and easier. Second of all, you will be able to, uh, if you don't have a level 300, get to 300 real fast and unlock all six slots for the legendary perks, which will still be available for your other characters, right? No matter what level they are, but not the upgraded legendary parts, perk cards. Plus, coming to the legendary perk cards, uh, with this build, you're able to uh, level those legendary perk cards even more crazier, which is absolutely crazy. So, look at that. This is my second favorite location, obviously. Oh, can I get it? I saw a legendary. Where'd you go? Did you fall on the ground again? Oh, there it is. He fast traveled. Damn. Time traveler. Give me something good. Let's go. Come on, man. Script. Whoop. So this is location number two. Obviously because of super mutants. So there you go. Another trigger right there. And super mutants are the best for the XP. Have that in mind. Whoop. Let's go, go, go. So yeah, uh, 
the build is obviously not the best for like like super kills or whatever I'm pretty useless like in a lot of different boss fights but I'm trying to find a good combination so I'm not that useless <laughs> the build is not quite ready but in terms of XP farming I'm still missing out on a couple of pieces there and there and uh, once I'll get it, basically whenever I'm going to be edit, uh, making any changes to the build, I will be uh, reaching out to you and, and in this playlist also have an update. As something similar that I used to do with my <coughs> PC uh, character, uh, with this one as well. But top focus now is the XP build farming, uh, then that would be carry weight and uh, a little bit of uh, support style so so that's pretty much it <laughs> all right Zeke Lane and everybody else uh, you all know the drill if you enjoyed the show don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them I see them I read them and I delete them I have that in mind so if you want your comments to be read feel free to um, Post your negative, positive feedback, wh whichever. Uh, but please don't swear. And and if you don't, essentially everybody will see your comments. They will be able to read them, respond to them, etc. And happy hunting! I hope you found this uh, guide video useful. Which? Yeah, I wanted to show more locations, but. I guess I'll just show it in the uh, in my runs video that I'm gonna start working on. Essentially, after this location, I jump over here because there's more super mutants over here. I kill the Deathlaw, and then I go to the White Springs. Well, sometimes I uh, usually start so White Springs, and I kill the White Springs Sentry bots and, and stuff like that because uh, they give a really good uh, amount of XP. But all depends on like what server am I playing, if I have any workshops captured, oh, I always do. So, all that area. Man, sorry, I just woke up. <laughs> I promise you to deliver this video as fast as I can, so here I go. And I can't even end it. <laughs> Alright, see Clint, everybody else. I'll see you on the next one. Adios. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go We are Z Clan, we have a gamer soul By the might of the sword, we put the pen to the test We are Z Clan